Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, my name is Johnny Hernandez. I'm with uh, Senior Planet from AARP. I'm a technology trainer. And uh, today we are going to be exploring the new Apple iOS 26 operating system, the new upgrade everybody had to undergo. Um, <clears throat> this is the first session of a four part series, okay, where we're going to be explaining some of the basic features um, that may look a little different, that may work a little different. Um, and in this first session, we are going to go over the new liquid class look, which might affect some things on your home screen. There are some new features there available to you. We're also going to look at the uh, settings app, how you can uh, reduce what they call reduce transparency from that new liquid glass look. And we're also going to cover uh, some features in the Safari app as well, uh, your browser Safari app. Um, as I mentioned, this is a four part series. So I'll talk about a little bit later about when our next session will be held and what we'll be covering in that second session to this four part series, exploring the new Apple iOS 26 operating system. Okay, so if you are wondering, well, what happened to iOS 18 through 25, let's say? Well, Apple jumped from iOS 18 to iOS 26 to align its operating system version numbers with the calendar year, much like a, uh, the year uh, make and model of a car. They also uh, did this across all Apple devices. So it's not just affecting your iPhones. It will also be um, uh, applied to your iPads. So you have to upgrade your iPad OS 26. You'll have to upgrade to Mac OS 26 on your Mac computers and even your Apple Watches. You'll have to upgrade to the Watch OS 26 and so on and so forth, okay? <clears throat> One new feature is Apple Intelligence, which is Apple's new built-in AI that helps your iPhone offer smarter suggestions while still protecting your privacy. In iOS 26, it means your phone can do things like instantly translate conversations, pull useful details from screenshots, create fun images uh, and emojis and give your give you clearer summaries of messages and notes, making everyday tasks easier and faster. But do note that some of these new features uh, are not applicable to all of the iPhones that qualify or that are able to be upgraded to the new operating system. I think a lot some of these new features are only applicable to uh, newer iPhones like iPhone 15 Pro and newer or higher. Um, so if you have anything older than an iPhone 15 Pro, some of the features that come with the iOS 26 might not be available to you, but do note that you will be able to upgrade to the iOS 26 operating system if you have an Apple or an iPhone 11 or newer. We are going to, uh, I'm going to now um, share my screen. I have a, an iPhone 16 Pro signed into this Zoom class here, and I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen now. and cover in this first section, like I mentioned, just show you some of the different ways the liquid glass makes your home screen look and, 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 and some of the things you can adjust as well. And then we're also gonna go over a few things in settings and some things in Safari. So let's go ahead and begin. Let me go ahead and share my screen from my iPhone. And again, currently I'm using the iPhone 16 Pro. I've already uh, done the upgrade. So here in just a second, you're going to see my iPhone screen. OK. All right, so here we are. Um, OK, so first and foremost, some things do not look all that much different, right? I noticed that when you unlock your screen, you have to enter your, your PIN code or what have you. Uh, those buttons look a little transparent and that's what that liquid glass looks uh, makes things look like some uh things will be a little bit more transparent than what they used to be and sometimes that can be a little hard to see and read right but um for instance if you are here at your home screen and swipe down to get to your quick settings menu that is very very transparent you can still see the background a lot so that's one thing that i noticed was a bit different um let me get rid of quick settings. If you hold any empty space on your home screen down, there's a few things that you can do to customize it. So um, notice the minus signs on all of the wiggling apps and widgets are almost very hard to see, right? So one thing you can do, um, and one thing you can do actually is, let me tap 
my home screen again, is if you go into your settings app, so let's look for settings. There it is in the top right-hand corner, first row of apps on that home screen page. Tap on settings, and what you're gonna wanna do is go to accessibility. And from there, you're gonna wanna tap on display and text size. So here's where you can turn on features like reduce transparency by toggling that button on so that it turns green. You can even increase the contrast. And so reduce transparency, first off, says improve contrast by reducing transparency and blurs on some backgrounds to increase legibility. Uh, increase contrast, increase color contrast between app foreground and background colors. So you can use that if need be as well. And you can already see the difference on some of these toggle buttons when you increase contrast. So that might help uh, deal with that new liquid glass look. I'm not sure why they did that, but that is what's happening. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's go back. I'm gonna leave the reduce transparency on. I'm gonna go back a few pages. I'm gonna get out of my settings app. <clears throat> and uh, now let's, now I can see those minus signs a lot better. You know, before they were almost completely transparent. <clears throat> Now let's open up the uh, Safari app. Okay, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I do want to mention uh, that uh, the Safari functions the same way with or without this liquid glass look, right? But where to find tabs and close and you know add new tabs and things like that is a little bit different. Before in the Safari app, everything was kind of located at the bottom edge of your screen. For instance, you would see that little icon that looked like a deck of cards to open up all the tabs that you have in your browser, in your app. Um, but now it's a little more slim line. There's a lot of, you know, things that they removed just to make it uh, look a little bit, I guess, you know, a little bit more cleaner and and uh, and maybe make it more efficient, right? Not so much cluttering. Uh, so we're also going to show you where to find tabs, what you can do with the condensed hamburger menu. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and then after that, we'll share with you some uh, important resources where you can get more information about smartphones from seniorplanet.org, and I'll share with you where, when, I mean, our next session will be held. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the Safari tab. I see it at the bottom edge of my phone screen, and um, let's go ahead and click there. And oftentimes it'll open up to this favorites page where you can then choose a uh, search engine. You know, I usually go with Google. And um, you'll notice at the bottom, your search bar is now located at the bottom of the edge of your app screen. All right. <clears throat> so you can enter any searches. Well, I mean, of course you have the search bar up here, but if you want to um, enter something into your address bar, then yeah, that's now located at the bottom. Oops. <clears throat> so let me uh, get out of there. Okay. Um, so here, let's say, um, I'm just going to stick to this, this uh, Google page that we're at here. Uh, so at the bottom edge of your screen, you'll notice where it says google.com in that little address bar window. Um, to the right of that, far right, uh, bot or yeah, far bottom right corner, you have those three little dots. Okay, that is where you click now to get to things like tabs, bookmarks, to open up a new tab, to open up a new private tab, okay, <clears throat> where you can add this web page to your favorites and so on and so forth, or share. Share button is also available. So if you click on all tabs, that's where you'll find all of the tabs that you have open. So you can start closing out the tabs that you're no longer using, if need be, right? Or tap on them if you need to go back to that page okay so for instance i'm going to click on the three dots again i'm going to click on all tabs and um i'm going to open up this uh, banana bread recipe from allrecipes.com and i'm going to say why um so now let's look at the search bar down below where it says allrecipes.com the other icon i wanted to show you that's kind of new is that little condensed um, um hamburger menu it's like a little square with two lines underneath it right to the left of where it says allrecipes.com so I'm gonna tap there <clears throat> and there's a few new options that you can play around with with the new iOS operating system. Um, you might also see, <clears throat> excuse me, you might also see um, an option for highlights that you can turn on and off. 
Um, and I have already turned that on. So that's why I'm not seeing that in this pop-up window. But if you do, you can go ahead and turn that on um, to see what highlights does. And, um, <clears throat> but there are some other fun features I'm gonna share with you right now. So for instance, hide distracting items. If you tap there, this allows you to hide any distracting items like pop-ups and things like that that you might see on any website that you're on. But you got to get to that website first, right? And then click on that little hamburger menu that's square with the two lines to get to this open uh, little pop-up. So I'm going to click on hide distracting items. Okay. I'm going to click on select an item. So I'm going to select this pop-up ad right here. And then now, once it's highlighted in blue, I'm going to click on hide and it just goes away. So <clears throat> I'm still in the high distracting items mode, right? So I can select another item. I see that I've I've hidden one item as it's telling me at the bottom edge of my screen. Okay. You can click the uh, X to get out of that mode or the check mark. Okay. <clears throat> and now you'll see instead of the little box with the two lines to the left of all recipe.com, you can click there and click on hide and show hidden items or click on hide distracting items again. It's telling you to select an item. So let's say you're going through and you're just getting tired of all these little ads and things like this big one here once it pops up or, um, or these ads at the bottom. Tap on an item like that. Click on hide and it dissolves away. It's pretty cool. Uh, all right, so I'm going to get out of the hide distracting items and... Um, a few other things that you can do by clicking on the little hamburger menu to the left of your address bar down at the bottom edge of your screen is you can also increase the font size of the web page that you're on. Now, it won't increase the font size of the entire phone. For that, you would have to go into settings uh, and go to like accessibility display and text size and, you know, and all that like you normally would. <clears throat> um, but here, you can click the little A or the big A to increase the font size. And then that window will kind of minimize so you can see the effect that it has. So I'm going to keep clicking the fonts, bit the big A. And so it just kind of increases the font on that web page that you're on. Now, <clears throat> um, once you start, you know, swiping through uh, the web page to see how big you made those fonts, you can also uh, click on the little hamburger menu icon again and then make them smaller if you maybe maybe made them too big or what have you uh, until it gets back to normal 100% standard size. If you click on that bubble again, um, <clears throat> it'll still even increase it even smaller or uh, bigger as, as you need, okay? But once you tap on the website, it kind of goes back to the normal little address bar down there at the bottom. Here's another feature in the Safari app that's changed. So I'm gonna click on that little icon and the tiny icon to the left of the little A and the big A you see at the bottom edge, right above the, the show reader button, um, <clears throat> is the, uh, it's like a little paper with a magnifying glass, right? So you're going to click there. And what this allows you to do on a site like, you know, recipes.com where uh, sites that are very, very text ha uh, heavy, um, if you're looking for a specific you know, word or phrase that you know is in that website somewhere, but you've been scrolling and looking, you can use this feature that I just tapped on to enter that word. So let's say, for instance, I'm looking for the directions to this banana bread recipe. I can just tap on directions and you'll see this website zoom past everything else other than the word that I'm typing in, as you see that it's highlighted now in the background on that website. Okay. <clears throat> so now, once you're done, you can just click the check mark, and it's taking you to that portion where you can now just find the directions. Maybe you already have the ingredients, you have everything. All you need is directions, so you can zoom past all those pop-ups, and so on and so forth, and now get to directions. Okay. <clears throat> um, let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen. There are many other uh, features that have come new with the iOS, new iOS 26 operating system. Um, that's why we've broken this session into a sort of a four part series of half hour segments. Uh, this first hour, we've covered what we talked about today or this first session, I should say, we covered what we talked about today. The next session, which let me share my screen and show you. 
Um, <clears throat> the next section session is coming up this coming Tuesday. Uh, it's September the 23rd. And let me find the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Ah, oh, yes. I'll show you the uh, landing page of when that next section. Well, here's a couple of resources that I want to share with you first and foremost. So um, this is the link to our YouTube channel. Here is where you might be able to find lots of um, tech tip videos uh, on smartphones, iPhones, and Android phones. Um, we will soon have videos regarding this new operating system, I believe up on our uh, YouTube channel. So you can always go to Senior Planet, or I'm sorry, uh, youtube.com forward slash at Senior Planet to get to our um, <clears throat> YouTube channel. You can always subscribe to our channel and receive notifications when we upload new videos. We also have a resource page on seniorplanet.org. You just go to seniorplanet.org forward slash smartphones. You'll get to this resource page you're seeing now. And here, uh, other than our hotline information at the top, you'll see a list of upcoming classes, all having to do with smartphones in some way, okay? So you could scroll through, click on a class you want to attend, add it to your calendars, uh, um, and so on. But you'll notice that amongst this list of classes, we do have our Exploring Apple's new iOS 26 events listed here. So the next one is on September the 23rd. <clears throat> And you can just go to um, seniorplanet.org forward slash smartphones to get to that list of classes. Click on this class. And as you see, it's going to be happening Tuesday, September 23rd uh, at those times. OK, we don't have uh, we don't necessarily have any slides or any uh, handouts available for this session or these upcoming sessions. But we are working on that uh, since this is a very new uh, we want to make sure that the information that it's going to be put on those handouts and slides is uh, up to date and current as best as possible. But another resource you can access is uh, the apple.com website. So if you go to apple.com forward slash OS forward slash iOS, for instance, <clears throat> yeah, it'll take you to this web page here you're looking at, and you can check to see what is new with the iOS 26 when it comes to iPhones, Mac computers, iPads. Apple Watches all have the same, uh, and even the uh, Vision, the Apple Vision Pro, I believe it's called, Vision OS Tools 26. You can also click on Overview to just read all that there is to read about um, the new operating system that Apple has introduced us today. Uh, actually, we to say it was on the 15th of September, to be exact. I'm going to stop sharing my screen, folks. Um, and I want to thank you so much for attending, for tuning in, for viewing this session. Please do join us next Tuesday, and then we'll have two more each Tuesday after that. Uh, so mark your calendars. Uh, next Tuesday, we're going to be covering the camera app and the photos app. So we'll talk about some of the changes that have occurred to those particular apps. Um, and then um, we'll continue on from there, the following two sessions. All right. Thanks for watching. For upcoming live classes, go to seniorplanet.org forward slash smartphones or call our toll free hotline for more information at 888 713 3495.